dime size. Let's hope it's nice and shiny when I get to it here. Oh, it is, one dime. Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to Southwest Wisconsin Metal Detecting. This is Steve. Thanks for stopping back. Today is the first hunt of 2022 and I am here. It's an old house that used to be a store just outside of my hometown of Fenimore, Wisconsin. As you can hear, it's at a intersection and a major highway. They are going to bulldoze this building down, but I did get permission. It is awful trashy, but hey, let's stick around, see what we can find. I'll be back on the first good beat. Well, my first find ended up being a surface find here. Let's see right here is a nice little marble just sticking out of the ground. Well, that's really nice. On to the next beep. This target is coming up small, jumping around 27, 28. However, the ground is still frozen. So I'm gonna have to get my shovel out and hack at it for a while but it does show shallow. So if it's anything good, I'll be right back. Well, it ended up being just a Heinz 57 jar lid, possibly. On to the next beep. Well, I think I found my first coin. And it's a memorial. On to the next beep. Well, I've got a real shallow 29, which could be a clad quarter. Or a dog tag. from 1992 on to the next beep well out of this hole looks like a penny Oh, it is a wheat scent. I'll get her cleaned up, see if I can get a date. I'll be right back. Well, it ended up being a 1920 Philadelphia, I believe. That's the oldest coin I found at this old house here. Quite a ways from it. So I'll concentrate in this area. Maybe this is where the old driveway was. On to the next beep. Well, out of this hole, found an old key. It says Yale on it. Something about Stanford, Stanford, Connecticut, USA. On to the next beat. Well, I'm a pretty good distance from the house, which would have been the front yard here and there's that big stump of a tree this i have no idea 
kind of looks like King Arthur's crown. I believe it's probably part of an old stove pipe or something, but it's quite ornate on the top there. On to the next beep. Well, I was detecting around this huge old stump here, and I believe this is called a sigh. I think the sickles were bigger, but I'm not 100% sure, but on to the next beep. And just when I was going to fill the hole back in, I saw this marble. Sweet, I think that's the second one out of this site. All right, on to the next beep. Well, I got a shout out to Dog Tag Doug. I've got a Grant County, Wisconsin dog license, 1949. Number 1,030. Huh, love it. On to the next good beep. Out of this plug, found a piece to a toy rifle. Probably maybe a cap cap gun, I don't know, but it's real light metal, so I'm sure it came off a toy. On to the next beep. Out in the field here, it doesn't look like it's got any fancy on it. It's probably pretty just basic one. They're always fun to find though. On to the next beep. Out of this hole, I found a harmonica. Yep, for I wasn't sure for a second there. It's got the top plate and the bottom plate on it. Oh, I'll get that cleaned up, see if we get a name or if it's just a generic one. On to the next beep. My next target, it's got some iron to it, but it looks like it was a decorative piece or something. Let me get a brush to this and see if we can clean it up a little bit. I'll be right back. Well, it looks like it was maybe just a ornamental piece off something, but I'll get it cleaned up at home and We'll get some better pictures. On to the next beat. Well, out of this hole, looks like I got another key. It's another Yale key. Wonder if they lost the same one twice. I'm gonna have to look now. That would be hilarious. 
Now, definitely a different cut. All right, on to the next beep. Well, there's definitely something about this area. Over here, where's the other key? Found another one. <laughs> it's also a Yale key. I'll be darned. Kind of wish they were coins, but they're all different cuts. I don't know what they were doing. On to the next beep. Well, this is one of the nicest sounding signals I got here. It's dime size. Let's hope it's nice and shiny when I get to it here. Oh, it is. One dime. It's going to be a barber because I've never found a seated. Yep. Wow, that's still sweet. I knew this was an old site. Eighteen ninety three Barber Dime. Wow, that's my oldest for sure. We will get some better pictures of that. Awesome. On to the next beep. Well, out of this hole, I believe I might have found another coin. Yeah, it's a wheat scent. I'll get a date, I'll be right back. It ended up being a 1944S. On to the next beep. Well, this relic was a little shallow. I see it's modern, but it's what I found. It says Mississippi Valley Heart Brand, pressure treated. So I'm assuming it came off a fence post. It was pressure treated, but. All right, on to the next beep. And once again, I believe it's a penny size. I'll uh, get it cleaned up, see what it is. I'll be right back. It ended up being a second year wheat scent, 1910. Awesome. On to the next beat. Well, I know it's hard to believe, but I found another key. On to the next beep. Well, this is the most keys I've ever found on a hunt. This is this was the last one I got to clean up. It's a Yale. 
like every one of them has been and this one's a heel too so on to the next beep well i found another key it's a key spill that makes three right here on to the next beep and number four out of the hole I hope it's a key date. On to the next beep. And I think it's the fifth one within a three foot area. Bizarre. But they're such good signals, I gotta dig them. On to the next beep. Well, here's the area where I found all the keys. I finally stopped ringing you back every time I found one. Um, I think I found one or two before this, but I've got 14 keys now. So there had to be like 12 in that little area. How bizarre. On to the next beep. Well, I think this is going to be the last time I detect this old house. It is so trashy around here. I got a pile of keys. A first year Barber dime. And a bunch of wheat pennies. But I thought on the end of the video here, I'd turn this camera around and show you what I've been dealing with. Bottles and tin, just everything. You have to pick through it. First time I used my six inch coil, I came back with the standard coil this time. Did a lot of hunting out there. This used to be all overgrown. And the county came in and took down what they could and they're gonna bulldoze this house down. Oh, look at this trash. Bill bottles. I didn't have enough nerve to go in this house. Plus, I'm pretty sure they didn't want me in here. I did get permission to detect around it, but. So, as always, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next good beep.